We are watching the sunrise at Lake Cargo. It's such a nice morning. There are a few flies around, but... She's on spot duty. Yeah, it's so nice. The lake is pretty low. It's the lowest, did they say it's the lowest it's ever been? Yeah, lowest it's ever been. Hopefully they have a good wet season, which is just starting. That's pretty nice. Some people are in the pool. But we're going to pack up and we're heading to Mataranka today. It's about seven hours. We're all packed up and we've left Lake Argyle and we're going to go to some, some hot springs today. So. Join us on this episode as we take you through the territory. Mataranka and many more. You feel so far away though you're close. With your mind that I want to know. A penny for your thoughts. I want to know what's inside that heart of yours. On this episode, we take you from Lake Argyle all the way down to Three Ways in the Northern Territory. It's a big day on the road, so join us as we seek life. I'm Beck, and this is Nick. We share our passion for adventure through these videos, not only around Australia, but around the world. Going to some of the most exquisite locations, Subscribe and seek life with us. Last week we left you at Lake Argyle. This week we take you through Catherine Hot Springs. Then to Mataranka to the homestead and out for a swim in the hot springs. But we didn't camp there. We push on to three ways in the Northern Territory. We're all packed up and we've left Lake Argyle and we're nearly at the Northern Territory border. I've never been to the Northern Territory, neither has Nick. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to get a photo of the sign and stuff. Yeah, and we're going to go to some, some hot springs today. We are about to enter the Northern Territory. Let's go. We moved up the road so Beck's brother Josh and his girlfriend Larissa could get a photo. After some snaps we rolled down the road to Catherine. We had to go up so we didn't have to go through the dirt road as it was a wet season and we weren't going to take the chance on the dirt track. We just arrived at the Victoria River Roadhouse and there's just some signs about all of the four-wheel driving and all the tracks in the um, national parks around here. They are only open between May and November, so the dry season. But yeah, it's really good how they've got this little map. We had a quick toilet stop started the trucks up again and we we're back on the road. The audio of this wasn't the best. We got to Catherine Hot Springs which was quite crowded. It was still awesome to see how clear the water was. Our camera also wasn't set up properly. When you're traveling it's hard to check all the settings. Anyway we jumped in for a quick dip, got some photos, so here we go. Catherine Hot Springs was about 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. With the temperature on the day at 35 plus degrees, it was nice to cool off. We jumped back on the road and drove through the rain to Mataranka. Mataranka is about 107 kilometers south of Catherine, which is about an hour. In the Northern Territory, none of the farms, or stations rather, 
have any senses, so you must keep an eye out at all times for cattle and other wildlife. We made it to the Mataranka homestead. There were some peacocks around the car park as we entered. I don't know, but there's some cool peacocks around here. This one's got some really beautiful blue colours in it. There's a little baby one around here. I don't want to scare them, but you probably can't see it. It's just on the other side of that peacock there. It's just like a tiny little one. See if we can see it. Just there. This one's following Nick. We just got to the Mataranka homestead and we might stay for the thermal pools are really nice, otherwise we're gonna go into the thermal pools for a little bit and then we're gonna keep going. They're just down this little path over here. With the homestead only 70 metres from the thermal pools, it was a quick walk. As you can see by the bottom of the trees, there was recently a bushfire through the area. We wasted no time at all and jumped in the thermal pool. We swam around the thermal pool, took some photos, and we couldn't believe the clarity of the water. It wasn't super hot, but it was just warm enough. We thought we'd better pack up and move on to Three Ways. We wanted to sleep there tonight as it was a little bit closer to our final destination. It was eight hours from Mataranka though, so we had to get a move on. In this clip, you can just see the spring bubbling out of the ground. It's quite cool how water just comes out of the ground like that at a nice temperature. We just went into the Mataranka Thermal Springs. There are flies everywhere here. Um, it was so nice. The water was a little bit warm. I think it would be a bit better in peak season. Yeah, peak it season. Just, yeah, it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit from the storms and stuff that they're having in the wet season. Don't mind the flies here. But the yeah, water's it was, a bit smelly, but yeah. there's heaps of bats around. So I think there was a fire that went through and like pushed all the bats into yeah, that area. Yeah, not that long ago. It just wiped out a few of the other caravan parks and stuff just down the road. So we've uh, gone for a swim. It's about five o'clock. And instead of setting up camp, we're going to head on for another hour or two. If you like that video, leave a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Join us next week as we go from three ways in the Northern Territory all the way to Longreach.